Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 7, Unit 4, Lesson 12, Practice Problems Review is on finding the percentage. In Problem 1, a music store marks up the instruments it sells by 30%. If the store bought a guitar for $45, what will be its store price? If it marks it up by 30%, that means we need to find 30% of 45 30% as a decimal is 0 0.30 or 30 hundredths. So if we take 45 and we multiply it by the 30 hundredths, we would get 13 and 5 tenths, which is equivalent to $13.50. We're marking up, so we need to take then 45 and add it to that $13.50 for the markup, and we get $58.50 for our solution. Now I do want to show you a second way of doing this. Since we're marking up by 30%, we could take the 100% and add it to 30% to get a total of 130%. Now, 130% as a decimal is 1 and 30 hundredths. If we take that 1 and 30 hundredths and multiply by 45, that is another way to get our solution of $58.50. Both methods work. What about question two? If the price tag on a trumpet says $104, how much did the store pay for it? If we use the red part of question A here as an example, we took 130%, multiplied it by what it paid, so we'll call that the store paid, that was going to equal our store price. In other words, our 1 and 30 hundredths times what the store paid is equal to the store price of $104. So, to find what the store paid if I divide here by the 1 and 30 hundredths. 104 divided by 1 and 30 hundredths is going to be $80. So the store paid was equal to $80. If the store paid $75 for the clarinet, clarinet and sold it for $100, did the store mark up the price by 30%? See, two ways of attacking this question. We could say, well, our 130% multiplied by 75 will tell us whether or not it was truly marked up the correct percent. You multiply these together and you get $97.50. So it's a simple answer of no. Additionally, if I were to take 100 and divide it by 75, that means it was marked up 133%. So it's actually a 33.3%. 3 markup here. It's a couple different ways of going about to get to that solution of, well, no, that's not equal to 30%. Let's move on to question two. A family eats at a restaurant. The bill is $42. The family leaves a tip and spends $49.77. How much was the tip in dollars? Well, 
we take our $49.77 and subtract the $42 for the bill, we would end up with $7.77. Then, how much was the tip as a percentage of the bill? So we're looking at the tip divided by the bill. Well, the tip was $7.77. The bill was $42. And when I take $7.77 and divide by 42, we end up with a decimal, 185 thousandths. And if I multiply by 100, in other words, move the decimal place over twice to the right, we get 18.5% for our solution. Let's continue on to question three. The price of gold is often reported per ounce. At the end of 2005, this price was $513. At the end of 2015, it was $1,060. By what percentage did the price per pound of gold increase? To solve this question, what we need to find then is the amount of increase and we're going to divide that by the original 2005 or 2005 price. Well, this increase can be found by taking 1060 and subtracting the $513. That, of course, is 547. And when we divide that by the 2005 price of $513, this gets us about 1 and 7 hundredths. When we move this decimal point over, two spots to the left, we end up with a solution of 107% or so. Continuing on to question four. A phone keeps track of the number of steps taken and the distance traveled. Based on the information in the table, is there a proportional relationship between the two quantities? Explain your reasoning. And as a note here, this is review from Unit 2, Lesson 7. Well, if we take a look at 950 and 1, that's 950 steps in 1 kilometer. If we were to take a look at, well, let's simplify 2,852 and divide it by 3 to see, well, what's the per kilometer distance there? That ends up being 950 and two-thirds. Well, as close as it is, 950 is not equal to 950 and two-thirds. So, no, it's not proportional. And as we move on to our last question of this lesson, Noah picked three kilograms of cherries. May picked half as many cherries as Noah. How many total kilograms of cherries did May and Noah pick? And this is review from Unit 4, Lesson 4. Let's run through some of these answers, eliminating the ones that we can. Three plus one half. Well, that three might be Noah's. One half, well, half isn't being added here, we'd need to take three times one half. And we're certainly not getting smaller. And so now we need to look at C and D and see, well, what's the difference here? C has parentheses and D doesn't. And we're multiplying. Well, the three is Noah's, right? And then we have the one plus the one half. When we truly think about it, when we take that one plus the one half and multiply it by three, the one is Noah's. 
the half represents maize. And so if I were to take one and a half and multiply it by three, I would end up with what we're looking for here of four and a half. One plus one half times three without the parentheses would force you to take half of three first, which is one and a half, and then add it to the one. Well, one and a half might be maize, but Noah didn't pick one. We know Noah picked three, and so D is not our solution, so that means C is our solution. And that is it for this grade seven unit for Lesson 12 Practice Problems Review on finding the percentage. Good luck.